ลูซังฮูนันได้เจอชัวตุมโตฮอลุนดองสิงพอสังเมนสตาได้เจอเมกาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอยาวอย
Part of this gift also includes the time and expense of 13 Changsha artisans who arrived here this week to supervise the installation of this pavilion. They are experts in the ancient architectural techniques of carpentry, masonry, and painting. So I hope you'll be able to come out and watch their work once they get started. In addition to this pavilion, two other structures are arriving from Changsha, the Hmong Heritage Wall and the West Entrance Arch. The Hmong Heritage Wall is very unique for a Chinese garden. It contains symbols from both the Minnesota Hmong culture and the Changsha Hmong culture. Now, maybe some of you don't know this, but hopefully you all um, do. But through our engagement with the local Hmong historians, we've learned that the Hmong trace their ancestral roots back to this area of China, the Changsha area, and that there are more than two million Changsha um, Hmong living there. Or in China. Um, so there's a strong ancestral connection between our city and this area in China. So that will be reflected in this park and in this um, heritage wall. And this has really given a deeper significance to this whole sister city, uh, China Garden. So today is an exciting day for us uh, as we introduce to the public the St. Paul Changsha Friendship Garden. Uh, the Lu Meng Yuan, or the Lu Wang Hongju in Hmong. It's so refreshing to see all of you here representing diversity of America at this wonderful celebration. It has been a very long time since St. Paul and Changsha finally became sister city in 1988. A lot has changed since then. On a personal note, I visited our sister city, Changsha, 25 years ago for the first Hmong International Symposium. Little did I, little did I know then that St. Paul and Changsha had already been sister city a few years prior. Many mayors have taken office in both cities since and continue to strengthen our relationship. It has been a long awaited anticipation even for me since the Friendship Garden Plan came to my consideration four years ago. I have been inspired by every positive step and admire the determination of those who got us to this point. Why build it here in the East Side St. Paul? I asked, why build it here? Well, the answer is simple. Why not? <laughs> First, because it is the St. Paul Changsha Friendship Garden. It has to be in our city. It has to be in St. Paul. Where else would St. Paul rather, rather have this friendship garden than on the willow bank of Lake Phelan here in the east side? I'm sure folks in another part of our city, like West St. Paul, you know, West Side, um, Highland Park, McLovin or Como, I'm sure folks there will not hesitate to take on this project. But why let them have it? Yeah, why let them have her? Yeah. That would mean we have to go there to visit. Yeah. Why not build her here closer to home and make other come our way? Like my fellow senator here, Senator Frenton, yes. come all the way from Edina to visit us today. <laughs> Would you agree? Yes. All right. So thanks to the City of St. Paul, the District 5 Council, and our City Council for making Eastside and Lake Phelan as the location for this project. I also applaud our Lakeside neighbors for working very hard to bring this project into fruition. Thanks to the cultural partnership by the Chinese community, the Hmong American community and others. And thanks to the mass supporter of the East Side and the many donors from the grassroots level who contribute most of the money raised for this project. You make this happen. Yes, you make this happen. And to those who missed the opportunity to uh, lend your support, I think it's still not too late. You can, you can contact the city or the Friendship Garden Society. Also, I'm humbled to thank the indigenous people, the original caretaker of this land, for keeping this place in harmony with nature. And now it's becoming harmonious with wetland on the other side of the world. This is a blessing in disguise because this garden can be put anywhere else in St. Paul. But fate brought her here to the east side of St. Paul, which has historically been home for immigrants. And today, 
is home for the largest Asian American community in Minnesota, particularly the Hmong American community. As Minnesota Center of Hmong Descent, I could not be more content to have this ancient replica of peace and tranquility. And the heritage wall made from the home of my ancestor to be placed here in the district that I represent. The Friendship Garden here will bring people near and far from within the state and international. You, you will bring our Hmong Chinese here to take pictures when they come to visit. May everyone find peace here and the clarity to understand. May we find love, hope, and comfort. And may all who come here come for friendship, come for unity, and come for the de determination to better Minnesota. May God bless our two sister city, and may God bless the east side. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to be here today, and it's exciting to join here in this wonderful celebration to celebrate the long-standing friendship with our sister city of Changsha, China. 30 years of friendship to be exact. I think that's something we can all be very, very proud of. I want to especially thank all of the elected officials, all of the project leaders, and everyone from the Minnesota China Friendship Garden Society who are here today for their work and support to make this project a success. I know this has been a long time in the making. I'd also like to be sure to acknowledge those artisans who are here from China, who are here with us today and will help to assemble that pavilion as soon as we get it all here in St. Paul. You know, the connection between the Minnesota Hmong and the Hmong ancestral home of Hunan is important to our community. And so I look forward to continuing to advance, advance our international relationship with China. You know, we have a, a, a lot of people in this community, and we've been talking a lot over this last few years of what makes America great, what makes Minnesota great, what makes St. Paul great. And we have to know that what makes our community great is the people who are in it, all of the people who are in it. The fact that we come from all over the world, that we speak different languages, when I first got elected, someone came in my office and, you know, we're updating our city's uh, comprehensive plan. And I saw a draft of the document that said, we strive to be a city where everyone can succeed and thrive despite their racial and cultural background. And I said, well, that's wrong. They said, what do you mean? I said, I think we can build a city where everyone can thrive because we're so diverse. And that's our vision for our city. So that's why it's so important for us to celebrate today that those roots of our city go deep and those roots of our city cross oceans and those roots of our city plant us on, uh, in other countries and on other continents. Earlier this year, the city of St. Paul sent five of our peanuts statues to the city of Shangsha as a symbol of our commitment to continue the strength to continue strengthening the bond between our two cities. And I would love, just want to say personally, I'd love the chance to go visit those statues in person. <laughs> and we're thrilled to install this incredible pavilion right here in this park, right near that meditation statue by Master Lake that continues to serve as a cornerstone of our China Garden here in Phelan Regional Park. I know that when this garden is complete, it'll add yet another layer of unity between our cities, and I look forward to creating this beautiful space where members of our community can visit, reflect, and interact with each other. Thanks again for being here today, and I hope you can all stay to enjoy the festivities going on throughout the day as part of the Dragon Festival. It's truly a great day to celebrate in St. Paul. Thanks for being here with us.